What's going on in the Bico kitchen? No, no, there's no seafood today. We've got lamb koftas. Oh, good. So we've got a beautiful lamb mince here, and we're going to spice it up. We've got some cumin and coriander there. And it's a really simple, full of flavour, easy dish to do, perfect for tonight. And we're going to make a classic tzatziki. That's a word that I struggle to say, the old <laughs> mouth goes. Ah, tzatziki. Is that how you so, say it? Yeah, minty yoghurt. <laughs> minty yoghurt. It does sound delicious. I'm very much looking forward to this. We'll be cooking up these koftas shortly. Now, it's great to be back in the Beko kitchen with the perfect homemade takeaway, Mark. And you've got me rolling balls again. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to make it. some koftas. Yeah, what have we got to do? Right, so we've got this uh, lamb mince. So you can see it's a, it's a really good mince to use. Yep. Because it's nice, it's ground nice and fine, and that's just going to hold everything together. But we need to get some flavouring into there. Right, so we've got some ground cumin. Awesome. So that's, again, one of those fragrant things. Do you mind if I stir this? Yeah, no, no, you wait? can stir it. I was going to get you to do that anyway. And some ground coriander as well. Oh, good. That coriander just really does it for me every time. Just a tiny bit of salt there, Mark. No, no, you need to, you need to well <laughs> season. It looks like heaps, but you'll we'll probably need some more. Uh, salt and pepper, get yep. all that in, and then give it a really good mix. I've got a couple okay. of garlic cloves as well, which we're just going to crush right. and uh, chop in and some fresh mint as well, and that is it, you know, that is that is your mixture there. So that that really is pretty simple, even it's in very, idiot like very me simple. can avoid mucking that one up. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's really simple, and it's, you know, if, it's probably stuff what you've got in the pantry already, yep. and if so you've got the, mint growing outside, you know, really easy to do. The origins of this is what, M Moroccan or...? Uh... Yeah, a little, a little bit Moroccan and sort of Greek as well. Yep. You know, the tzatziki's from um, uh, Greece, so a bit of a, yep. sort of a sort of fusion from different countries, but just really simple, just really, um, uh, you know, great one for the summer, put on the barbecue, yeah. you can do these and just nibble them, make the tzatziki, or we've got some little wraps as well, so we're going to turn this into an, an actual meal. Well, I love, you know, if you've got the ingredients on hand, like you say they are in the garden and stuff like that, you go, people turn up and they've got a habit of doing that over summer, don't they? <laughs> and you go, what am I going to do? Oh, well, we've got that lamb mince, and then we'll get this going, and voila, Mark Salvin told me how to do this, and he is a genius. Yes. Exactly, there you go. So fresh mint, just roughly chop that and put that in there. You know, you could put some fresh coriander in there as well if you wanted. Yep. Or any any herbs you've got, even basil, you know. Mm. And that's the beauty with recipes. You can just, you know, whatever you've got to hand, you can throw it in and uh, sometimes it'll be amazing, sometimes it won't be so amazing. That's my problem. When I go to the cupboard, though, or the garden, I speak to the herbs. Oh, good day, Basil. How are you, Rosemary? Nice to see you again. <laughs> he doesn't find me funny. <laughs> That's right. better, better than Mike's jokes, actually. <laughs> right. right. So what we're going to do now is um, we're going to make some balls. So just get it in between your hands and we'll roll a ball. And then yep. you, you can do it on the surface or you can do it on your board. And you're just rolling it to sort of compact it like this. Great. And then pop it in your hands. And then we're going to skewer it. But then we're going to start applying pressure okay. and keep moving it. And you can roll it a bit. It's a bit more of a sausage like that. Yeah. But or a kofta, funnily enough. Exactly. Yeah. So that's where the shape comes from. <laughs> but we've got the skewer in the middle, and we're just working that mince around. Yeah. You know, and then it just importantly as well, you're sort of compacting it, um, but get it nice and even because we want to cook this evenly. Mm. So there you go. There's right, one. So we start off with a ball. Yep. I'm just going to dive that's right in for you. About that much, or is it? Yeah. Yeah. No, okay. that's that's cool. And you know, a good. Well, a little tip for you when you're doing stuff like this, don't get too much, you know. Work with a little Not bit less and, and so you it. sort of practice and get into it and then you can go a, a little bit I'm bigger. See, I'm so tempted to do that. Is that bad, to go in two hands? No, no, you can do no. it. What, yeah. whatever, you, whatever you find um, easy, but you just sort of, you know, you're shaping the mince but you're compacting it at the same time. Right, so we don't end up with all those sort of cracks and stuff. Yeah, you don't okay. want any cracks and you don't want any air in it, otherwise it's just going to fall apart. So we get that through. Now, we do want to get them into the pan. Yeah, we do want um, to get them into the pan. So I've got a pan warming up now. I've got a griddle pan. And how long do they need to sort of stay in the pan for? What's the key there? I mean, we, we want to cook it. It's mint, so we want to cook it pretty much all the way through. Um, so you just want to keep turning, so two, two or three minutes on each side, and you just keep turning it, get it nice and coloured. I have a feeling my um, sausage is falling apart, to be fair. And <laughs> <laughs> they'll be fine in the second segment. <laughs> uh, but we want to get a really good colour on there, get the bar marks the colour, and then we can turn it, otherwise it's going to stick. Fantastic. Cannot wait to finish these ones off. And of course, we'll show you how to make the tzatziki to drown them in as well. So, Mark, just to recap on what we've done with the lamb koftas so far, we've got the, uh, we've, we've pretty much put all the, the herbs. What was in there again? There oh, so we've got some fresh mint in there. 
and then ground coriander, ground cumin, lots of salt and pepper, and then just worked it all together, molded it around our skewers, and we've cooked it now. So you can see we get some nice colour, and keep turning it, keep turning it, and you know it's probably still needs a little little bit of a turn and another two or three minutes. Is there a key just quickly not to turning them too soon? Like because I always get things stuck. Yeah, so you need you need lots of heat. Yep. So we get lots of heat, so it's really hot when we put it in. The oil's hot. We sear it, and you can see the marks. And then once we've got those nice brown marks, then that will release from the pan, and then we can do it again on the next side. Awesome. Okay, the tzatziki sauce. Right. So so basically, it's a, a minty yogurt with a bit of cucumber and garlic. <laughs> Sounds a lot better, though, doesn't Posh it? Posh minty yeah. yogurt with cucumber. <laughs> there you go. Yep. We make it simple here on the cafe. Right, so I've got some natural uh, Greek yogurt in there, and then we're going to flavour it. So I've got some cucumber, and all we're going to do now is just grate it. So you just grate in it, grate in it, grate in it. But what you need to do now, so if you grab a big handful of that, yep. and, and you want to wring it out. So this is great stress relief, you know? Good. So, because otherwise, I guess we ended up with a really juicy minty yogurt. Yeah, exactly. You're going to loosen it out because look at all that liquid from the cucumber. You know, keep that. That, that makes a, a great gin and tonic with cucumber. Hendrix one. You don't mind if I do. <laughs> you can always use something. We never waste anything in the kitchen. Great. But for this recipe, you want to wring it out, and then we'll get the nice texture in there, and we'll get the lush uh, so, thickness. What am I doing with this? Is that uh, going once in there it's wrung out, you can pop it in pop there. That in there. That's all good. I've just got a garlic clove here, yep. which I'm just. Chopping, chopping, crushing. Oh. Bit of cucumber on the floor, never hurt anyone. No, it's, it's, um, we didn't need a full one anyway. You know. <laughs> check, check the recipe. Yep, throw so, half of it on the floor and then <laughs> serve. So you can see what I'm doing with the garlic cloves. I've just chopped it and then I put a little bit of salt on there and I'm just crushing it, crushing it. And so why? Um, just because we're releasing all those oils and making it nice and fine. Yep. So you can see that really, really fine. It's almost like a paste. Good. That goes in there as well. Excuse me for one moment. Um, yogurt can go in there. Got a little bit of uh, lemon juice as Great. well, just to sharpen it up. And we'll put a little bit of uh, salt in there. Great. You mix the yogurt through. And I guess you don't want big bits of garlic either, like you're, no, no, you know, you, crushing that out. You'll see when you mix it through, it'll all blend in. I've got a little bit of olive oil as well. And then mix it all together, give it a taste. It needs a bit more salt or garlic or cucumber, you know, or lemon, whatever you want. And then lots of fresh mint, just roughly chopped. You know, you can put heaps in there. You know, it's really refreshing. You've got that sort of garlic yogurt, fresh mint, cu cucumber in there. And it's just absolutely fantastic. Ooh. Works well with like spicy dishes. Now, is this something you need to sort of do just before you serve, or is is it better when it's left to you know the flavours to develop, or or either? Yeah, I would. Um, I'd make this. Um, you know, a good half an hour at least before you want to do it. Even an hour, even yep. longer. You know, and all those flavours will go through the yogurt, and it will just taste a lot better. Um. And then, you know, you could just eat it like that if you want. Dip it in there, eat it. Jobs are good in. Yep. Or a little bit of um, some flatbread. Pop some red onion on there. A few slices of chilli. Of course, we you love that chilli. Big chili. spoon of uh, tzatziki on there. Yep. Okay, so just goes right in there. Yeah, straight in the middle. Boom. Go on, get some more in there. We'll just we'll just overdo that. <laughs> <laughs> you never have too much. And then kofta, we'll try one of these. So take Pop it out. out, give it a feel. You know it's firmed up. That goes in there and pull the skewer out. Voila. Job done. Yum. Cannot wait to try these. They're going to be amazing. If you'd like to try them at home, the recipe is of course on the cafe.co.nz. Look at these. I've done a yeah. whole party pack for you guys. Oh, nice. Okay, so I cannot wait to dig into these. What's on the menu for Monday? Right, on Monday we've got our beef shashlik. Shashlik, that's such a great <laughs> word.